Hey, this is East Coast Rescue Solution, Rick Myers and Chris Minichella. Today we're going to go over in a quick demonstration of inward swinging door. First off, you always want to size up your door, looking for obvious signs of locks, what kind of door you're going to, metal door, metal frame. So basically, usually when we go up the door, we like to lean into the door. Use a lean into it, see, see where the resistance is, you start down low, work yourself up high. If the door gives a lot of resistance, you can shock the door, but basically we found a point of purchase point. Rick sets his tool with the ads, comes in, calls Hit. for it. Hit. Rick sets the tool, he has it. This is the gap set of the uh, gap set force. He has his ads in, he sets it against the tool. He's going to go into downward motion. He gets as much as he can out of it. I, as the guy with the axe, I'm going to set my tool. I have the progress. He's going to go ahead and set his forks. In this setup, we're going to go bevel towards the door in this setup. So from here, I'm going to hit the tool. Rick's going to, the importance here is Rick's going to walk the tool, pulling back on it, or he keeps it off the frame, trying to drive the tool through the door in the frame. Hit. 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 Drive. Stop! We've had the tool set. What we're looking for here is that the saddle or the crotch of the fork is to the inside of the stop. As you see, I came up, captured his progress. Now he's going to go to the force portion. He's going to come over. He sets the door. I'm holding my progress as close, close as possible. And we're kind of starts the process over again. Side thing the door. Looking at his lock. Goes back down again. Looking for other locks. Set it again. Shut the door. Capture the progress on the door. That's the East Coast Rescue Solutions door with just two locks and two pieces of wood. This door here can take up to nine pieces of wood and half inch rebar.